Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of No Skill Craft. Back here at the Mob Combat Arena, where I've done just a little bit of work since uh, since the last episode. Which is, I've, I guess I probably should have went up on the side here instead of up there. Uh, I've built out the two other side spawning platforms, which I just need to add walls and ceilings and dispensers and whatnot to. And I took the lever that was on the hopper clock off and I just attached it to that lever using this line, which is going to be my shut off line, which I'm also going to continue to run along all the way to the, the light source uh, towers that I'm going to put over here for triggering the lights on and off. So that should be pretty good. So we can just trigger the whole system off from one point now. So things are coming along well. Uh, I've also decided another good thing that I'm going to do is I brought some beacons with me because why not? We can set up some beacons. There's going to be levers for those that will block them so you can choose which uh, which buffs I guess you get for the different things just to give us more options. You're going to be able to set the difficulty levels and you're going to be able to give yourself a few separate buffs and you can see how you can do. We could also do teams and shit like this. This could get to be pretty pretty good. I also need to change these out and put obsidian in the floor. I realize because I'm an idiot those are just going to get blown up first time a bunch of creepers come. And then we got to put a roof on this thing and I'm going to put the lighting sources in the roof. And then I need to do a little bit of conditioning in the area. I'm not going to do it too crazy because these are not obviously mob grinders. We don't want it to be pouring out insane amount of mobs that are just impossible to deal with. But I do need to do just the general area around it just to make it kind of safe to be in the area. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about any caves below or like any far out areas. Basically fence this area in once I set up the entrance and all that. As far as decorating this, I think, I think I'm think i just going to try to uh, bribe Redshirt into helping me come up with a cool design to put on it. Because he's far better builder than I am. So if I can convince him to do that, it would be way better. But for now, I just need to go around and start building up the walls around this beast. But since you guys watched me build the last one, I'm not going to uh, force you to sit through that again. So, be right back. So I've got all the walls in place, set up all the dispensers, and hooked up them to the torch towers. Which are hooked up to the hopper timer. We should see this fire here any second now. There we go. So yeah. Got these all rigged up. And this one of course fires off the opposite side so that way there's a little bit of uh, differences here. So let me just add that back in so it locks the hopper. And how many did I take out? Let's take these out, put them back in here. And yeah, so that's the whole I think I'm gonna like double that eventually. Once I once I play this a little bit after it's all set up, we'll have to dial in the hopper timer and everything. So things are coming along nicely. Next step up, I need to set up the ceiling bits. So I need... Do I not have any redstone lamps left? Oh, interesting, no redstone lamps. So I need to go ahead and build me some of those. Uh, let's make more of this. Let's turn all that. Yeah, here we go, redstone lamps. Yeah, all right, and then I need more redstone. This is why shulker boxes inside of your under chest is the best thing ever. It's just like, oh, I need a whole bunch of redstone lamps, and you can just build some. You don't have to worry, because you just have everything you need on hand. So, excellent. Let me do... Ooh, I just thought of something. When the level is turned off... I also need to turn the lights on in that particular section so it doesn't just spawn a bunch of mobs and hold it in the mob cap. Ooh, more complicated wiring to do. More complicated wiring. Excellent. This is going to be this is a fun project as far as all the redstone bits. So, hopefully Redshirt will help me with the designing part because he's way better at that part than I am and that will really help with this whole whole thing. So, all right, let me get this set up and I'll be back here in a moment. So I've decided this one's going to be level 2 because it fires on the opposite cycle than this one. So basically a level 2 will be this one, then that one, then this one, then that one. It kind of gives you this corner that you can kind of hold. 
but this one fires at the same time as this one so once you're on level three you're gonna be coming both sides and then that one and then both sides and then that one and I got it all wired up so if I flip this lever you'll see that it powers this redstone line and flies along here and it turns out this torch and this torch here will be on when the level's not selected to also keep the lights lit up so when when level two is not on this light set will be up and it also powers this piston which puts this block in place and then when the pulse comes out of the hopper clock over here it'll actually be able to make it all the way out there and trigger the trigger the uh, dispensers holy crap took me a second to think of what was going on there so I think I think it's time to test this out if I flip this light off I should see it go dark on both of these yeah, and I guess we wait and see what goes on here. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous to see. It's going to take a second before we get anything. I think the water is on on that side, it looks like. You can just barely see it right on the very top there. I don't think that was long enough necessarily to get anything to spawn in there probably get stuff coming out of this side. I probably want to get my bow handy just in case. Oh, they're skeletons. I see them. Bring it on, skeleton bitches. Oh, it's so sunny out. I forgot I'm going to need to put a roof on this before. This is remotely awesome. So why is the water still... Okay, so the water just turned off. Oh, I see witches up in there. Oh, yeah. And then they should start getting flushed out once the water turns off on this side. Let me just turn off that air conditioner. Holy crap, right? Like, what am I doing? Leaving the air conditioner enabled. Maybe I'm going to have to do some caving around and make sure that there's not a whole lot of spawns everywhere. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it plays out. Like, you know, maybe this still uh, probably not any better. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some caving and whatnot. Almost for sure. Come on, witch. Did they make it all? Yeah, they definitely make it all the way here. She's trying to fight it. Stop fighting it. Oh, yeah. Now you'll see me. Bring it on, witch. Oh, you got me with the slowing potion. Oh, and the hurting potion. Fuck you, witch. Yeah. So, it's working. Let me go ahead and... Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff in there this time. Spiders and whatnot. Go ahead and... Flip the lights and shit on. Don't murder what's coming out of it. Oh, there's one more spider. Yeah. Come on, spider. Oh, yeah. Come get some. Ah, oh, don't go back up there. Ha! Ha! Success! We have a working system. So let me build up level three, and I'll be back in a sec. After a little bit more building, I have gotten the third level all set up. So let me go and flip this bad boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure that this is all done up properly. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up, and we'll make sure that we get some spawns in it real quick here. The water on on that side yeah I almost want to fly down and turn it off but it should flip pretty quick why does it look all lighty in there uh, what is it F F3G nope nope uh, 
Reload chunk is F3A. There we go. Now it's dark in there. Excellent. Okay. I was worried for a second there. This one should still be lit up. This one's always unlit, so we gotta be watching for that. This should flip when this one flips. Come on, turn off. Come on, little hopper timer, you can fire. I believe in you. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. So that one fired. I'll synchronize them all for being on and off at the same time here. After. This one should have shut off. Looks like it's still on. Why is it still on? Interesting. Alright, let me troubleshoot this and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up the beacons and I'll be right back. Alright, I've got the roof in place. All three sides are currently set up. I've added a few little pillars here in the middle that you can kind of uh, be able to hide around and behind if you need to like take some cover a little bit and if I go back over and around up here I've added two levers that you can if you just look over here there's two little slots there flip the lever opens up and come on blink on there we go beacon opens up and we get it I added just the uh, the mining speed one haste for a uh, the regen one because it needs someone that it's going to give you the single one on so but I think all that's really left is to test it out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fire this up into max level with both buffs and I'm going to use my real gear just to test this out and I'm going to do a a first person time lapse of like I don't know 15 20 minutes of me playing on this and we'll see how it goes so that's coming up so I went for about four minutes and I realized that I'm going to need to set up some lights and do some caving because there's not very many mobs coming out of it not many at all so I'm gonna run around and torch up a bit of the area and then I'm gonna do a little bit of caving here so give me a few minutes and I'll be back in a minute I need to go get more torches out of my shulker box
So that was just under 10 minutes of a time lapse. So as you can see, there was a couple of hairy situations. I do need to get myself a bit more obsidian. Uh, the, the creeper explosion went up one block higher than I expected it to. What can I toss in here? Obsidian's in, yeah, in here. Uh, so yeah, I do need to do a little bit more caving. Obviously, I need to ramp up the difficulty just a little. Oops just a little bit because uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on there but there was a couple hairy situations it was uh, it got a little exciting at times so the, the, the whole plan as a whole works it just needs uh, a little bit more area conditioning so that way the difficulty raises up but I am pleased with this uh, in its current state as is. It was kind of fun, especially if I didn't have like good gear on, didn't have the buffs on. Like, it would have been like I might have died when those like when the creepers managed to take out the wall. I might have died in that moment. So even without the increased difficulty that I'm planning, it was still got a little hairy at times. So I would call this a success. A success that I need to convince Redshirt to help me with the, the design on because I do believe his skills would be much much better than mine for creating something that looks cool out of this and then I need to do a bit more caving obviously to up the old difficulty as I've said a number of times in this clip because I'm trying to build at the same time and I repeat myself but yes I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because you're definitely going to want to see what goes on with this area here and the funness that we're going to have with this as well as all the other fun, exciting things we have coming up. So, great. That's it. I'm in here.